Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS revised 2021 child tax credit and advanced child tax credit payments frequently asked questions. But first, an attempt at a joke. I apologize in advance. Finally, fed up with the Fed, the IRS, and business regulations in general, I told him, I've had it up to here with your rules. Yeah, that's what I said. And I'm gesturing to around my neck region, in case you can't see. And I generally only like to tolerate this crap when it's up to around here. And now I'm gesturing to around my knee region. And even that's higher than I would like. But at least then I could take off my shoes and socks, roll up my pants, and wade through the grimy regulations. If these regulations go any higher, it'll be a problem. Because there's way too many regulations to swallow. Running a business in that environment would surely be like biting off more than you can chew. And who wants to chew on nasty regulations in the first place? That's like biting off more green bean casserole than you can chew. Let alone swallow. If we want innovation, the driving force in the American economy, stop force feeding innovators more of the equivalent of green bean casserole than they can chew. IR 2022-53, March 8, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service today updated its frequently asked questions, the FAQs FS 2022-17. There's a link to that here on the 2021 child tax credit and advanced child tax credit payments. These updates are to help eligible families properly claim the credit when they prepare and file their 2021 tax return. And we would expect that there's going to be a lot of kind of errors with the child tax credit and the advanced child tax credit, which could delay uh, the tax refunds. Because remember, the IRS is kind of backed up over there. If there's any kind of issuing that's going to involve an actual person to figure out the problem, then it could back up the tax returns. And we saw that in the prior years, part of the backed up returns had to do with the stimulus payments and basically the advanced form of the stimulus payments, which is an advanced recovery rebate credit, which we also have in the current year. And then we've got the child tax credit, which has been changed, and they have this advanced credit portion to it as well, which is another area of, of potential complications that could delay returns if something if there's some kind of problem with those. So these changes reflect that publication 972 child tax credit has become obsolete. Taxpayers should refer to schedule 8812 form 1040. There's a link to that here. Schedule 8812 form 1040 is now used to calculate child tax credit and to report advanced child tax credit payments received in 2021 and to figure any additional tax owed if excess advanced child tax credit payments were received during 2021. These FAQs frequently asked questions re revisions and additions are as follows. 2021 child tax credit and advanced child tax credit payments topic B eligibility for advanced child tax credit payments and the 2021 child tax credit that's question three uh, 2021 child tax credit and advanced child tax credit payments topic C calculation of the 2021 child tax credit that's question number one and topic D calculation advanced child tax credit payments topic uh, that's question one. These FEQs are being issued to provide general information to taxpayers and tax professionals as expeditiously, as expeditiously as possible. I used to really not like that word, but the, I've been saying it so many times because the, the IRS is so dang expeditious over there that it's kind of growing on me. So in any case, more information about reliance is available. IRS.FAQs, uh, there's a link to the reliability or reliance is available here and other stuff and the FAQs. So you can check those out and there'll be a link to this in the description.